I'm gonna apologize for whispering because it is 4 a.m. and I don't want to wake Linda up. Long story short, Cody has the Sony 85 1.4. I have the Sony 90 2.8. We're always in this back and forth battle on which one is better for b-roll and which one's better for portrait lenses and we we always borrow each other's lenses when we're doing weddings and we're filming so today i want to see if we can figure out what is the better lens for the run and gun shooter for the person who's doing b-roll and then going to make maybe take some portrait photography so we're headed to big bear california to see if we can sort that out i'm paul dylan welcome to my youtube channel <music> to Big Bear, California. As I stated earlier, we're gonna be comparing Cody's 85.14 to my 92.8. And if you're familiar with either one of these lenses, in your mind you might have a clear winner, but I think these results might surprise you. So we are doing a lens comparison video, but selfishly we're, we chose Big Bear because the fall colors are out. I don't think we did it justice because we went to Bishop and we went a little too early. So we came to Big Bear. That's why we chose this area in particular to do this lens comparison video. Oh, let's do this. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the 85.14 or the 92.8, the 8514 has a minimum focusing length of two feet. That was kind of a kind of a downside to me because two feet is that's a long distance, especially if you're trying to really dial in some focus or doing some rack focusing while doing B-roll. That was kind of a downside. On the other side of that, the 92.8 has an adjustable minimum focusing distance because it's a macro lens. The downside to that though, is I notice, especially when recording B-roll, it doesn't autofocus. The autofocus isn't very snappy, it isn't very fast. Then again, it's not really a video focused lens. It's more of a, it's more of a portrait lens. However, I am digging the B-roll. So let's get into some B-roll comparison and really capture these fall colors. Sorry to interrupt your video. I was going through the photo comparisons and realized that I had the 90 millimeter at 5.6. Not a great comparison. So I had to redo these photos. So you'll notice the photo comparisons are shot somewhere else other than Big Bear. So I apologize, back to the video. anyways and then we're just gonna listen back and hope for the best because it's windy or what we do is like we just have a conversation and there's an airplane <laughs> perfect <laughs> so 
<laughs> Dude, look how bad the mic is shaking. The mic is moving. And then we have this Airplane. Little... And the big selling point for me for the 90 millimeter was what we talked about earlier was A, the money, but B, the adjustable focus length, focal length. It has much shorter focal length for from what I use. That's an eagle. It's much nicer. That's So we went to do those talking points and then, you know, Cody saw an eagle and that's what it's like when you have a friend as a wildlife photographer. Now we're driving around Big Bear chasing this eagle around the lake. There's Cody. I had no idea there were eagles. Oh my God. I'm trying to find this eagle. Let's find a place where I can get along the lake because I can't. Like I said, literally driving around Big Bear, chasing birds. Nice. Yeah, you can see that. There he is. And since we spent so much time chasing around Cody's birds, we didn't have enough time to wrap up this video in Big Bear, so now we're here back in the studio. Dare I call this a studio? Let's talk differences in lenses. 8514 retails for $17.99, while the 92.8 retails for $9.99. That's almost double the cost. It is a 1.4 lens, which means that the background is going to be much more blurry. And in all honesty, I thought because it was 1.4 that it would have worse bokeh, but it wasn't until Cody brought it up to me. The 92.8 bokeh balls aren't perfectly Thank round. They're much. kind of cat eye and sometimes they're really skewed. And if that's something that you're really into, then the 92.8 is not for you. That doesn't bother me. So that was not a turn off for me for this lens by any means. Now it's important to note the 81.4 weighs in at about 28.9, about 29 ounces, while the 92.8 weighs in at about 21 ounces. Now the difference in about seven to eight ounces doesn't seem like a lot, but when you hold them in your hand, it's a big difference. Especially for someone like myself who does a lot of backpacking and hiking, I wanna save as much weight as possible. So the differences in seven to eight ounces is big for me. But it depends on the type of running gun shooting, the type of hybrid shooter you are. If weight's not a concern, then the 85 is still a solid lens. Now the 92.8 is a sharper lens. Not by much, but it's important to note. It is a sharper lens. It is not a video focused lens. So earlier in the video, when I showed you those, those examples of the focus, kind of like, it's just not fast. It's not really punchy, no matter how fast you put the focus in lens. But the biggest turnoff for this lens for me was the minimum focusing distance is two feet. Two feet is a lot, especially for someone who does a lot of product videography and a lot of food stuff. I wanna get in and get real tight. So that's why this lens, the 92.8, was just a winner for me. Now, there are some upsides to the 81.4. Being that it is a 1.4, you're gonna get a ton more low light. Anytime, if you follow me for a while, any of the Astro stuff that I've done at night, any of the videography we've done has either been with this lens or Cody's 24-1.4. The 92.8 for me was the winner in this comparison video for many reasons. As I spoke earlier, the weight difference, the price difference, the fact that I can adjust the focal length, I can get in real tight as a macro lens if I wanted to, I can do a lot of B-roll. In fact, this is one of my go-to B-roll lenses. So based off of the differences in these lenses, which lens are you gonna choose? Now to be perfectly honest with you, Cody actually just bought the 92.8 and he's actually selling this 85.14. He actually did a video on why he purchased and why he chose the 92.8. So I will link that channel below. I will link his channel below so you guys can see why he chose. But let me know in the comments below which lens you're gonna choose. So this is where I'm gonna end this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, 1% better every day.